How do you know you got a bad map sensor? And it's time for replacement. Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. How do you know your map sensor is faulty? The map sensor is usually located on the intake manifold or on the throttle body or either that is or it's mounted somewhere on a firewall and there's going to be a vacuum hose connected to it going straight to the intake manifold. The purpose of the MAP sensor is to convert manifold pressure into an electrical signal and the computer will use the electrical signal to adjust air and fuel ratio and timing. When there's something wrong with that MAP sensor, the computer won't be able to calculate engine load because it's unable to calculate engine load, it's going to affect air and fuel ratio and again, ignition timing. When there's something wrong with that MAP sensor, drivers are going to notice all sorts of symptoms. For example, drivers are going to notice poor acceleration, RPM fluctuation, poor gas mileage, the engine may run either rich or lean. You may also notice lack of power, you may notice the engine start to surge, you may notice the vehicle may be triggered to limp mode. You may also notice hard start, you may also notice that the engine may not start, you may also notice the engine may start to ping. If you remove the spark plug, you may notice that the spark plug is probably fouled out, you may also notice a strong fuel smell as well. You're also going to notice rough idle, you're going to notice the engine may start to misfire and you're also going to notice that your emission may be higher than normal. Overall, you're going to notice poor engine performance. For example, let's just say you're trying to go uphill and you're going to notice that the vehicle may struggle to go uphill. There are a lot of reasons why map sensors go bad. For example, the diaphragm inside a map sensor can go bad. There may be a clog somewhere in the vacuum line. Maybe you might have a vacuum leak that could affect the map sensor performance. You may have an open or short of wires, you may have a connection issue. Before we replace that map sensor, you can try cleaning it out. Maybe you can use a, a cleaner and try to clean out the dirt or the passages and maybe it's just dirty overall. If that doesn't work, it's time to test that map sensor, which is going to require a digital multimeter and some sort of handheld vacuum pump. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.